What is natural law? Natural law is a body of law derived by nature and binding on society in the absence of or in addition to positive or man-made laws of any given people or culture. Natural law is distinct from the laws of nature as it applies only to human beings and their abilities of moral reasoning. We hold these truths to be self-evident and endowed by their creator are two well-known phrases that illustrate the use of the natural law in American society. And while natural law was employed by America's founders, it goes back thousands of years. Some popular proponents of natural law include Pythagoras, the Greek philosopher and mathematician who lived some 500 years before Christ, Aristotle, another Greek philosopher who lived 300 plus years before Christ, Cicero, a Roman philosopher and statesman who was a contemporary of Christ, Thomas Aquinas, a 13th century Italian Dominican friar and who adapted much of Aristotle's work into a Christian framework, Thomas Hobbes and James Locke, British philosophers, René Descartes, a Frenchman, and Thomas Jefferson, to name a few. 400 years before Christ, Socrates, the great Greek philosopher, penned, natural law is reason, reflecting on nature. Zeno, a Roman Stoic philosopher, said of it, right reason, which fills all things and is the same as Zeus, lord and ruler of the universe, teaching that natural law is in union with the mind of God. And Thomas Aquinas, who would be echoed by other great thinkers such as Martin Luther King Jr., posited, all human laws must conform to the natural law in order to be valid, reasoning which both justifies and demands civil disobedience when positive laws stand in contradiction to natural law. In fact, it was natural law that served as the underpinnings for the Nuremberg trials in the wake of World War II, allowing for the Nazis to be tried for crimes against humanity, even though the German soldiers were only following orders or obeying man-made laws. Natural law has been largely developed and expounded upon by realist philosophers. Realism is also the mother of the scientific method in Western civilization. Both realism and natural law concur that the world is not the result of some cosmic accident, but the handiwork of a divine being, recognizing the order, design, and purpose manifest in nature. Natural law sets out to prescribe moral norms consistent with the order and purpose of creation. Beginning with empirical data, natural law acknowledges that reality is more, much more, than that which has been or can be proven in laboratories. These laws are also in the very nature of men and women, written on their hearts from age to age. This does not mean that it is readily available to all men. It is recognized and employed by those men and women who are able to observe and reason correctly and logically. Natural law flourishes when individuals seek to move beyond their basic instincts by informing their personal conscience with the light from the objective goodness and virtue. In this series, we will see that increased understanding, appreciation, and employment of the natural law can be informed and enhanced by other disciplines, both scientific and behavioral.